the city of Cornwall, as well as the United Counties of Stormont, Dundas, and Glengarry, and the United Counties of Prescott, Russell, held a joint conference yesterday to announce that uh, states of emergency have been declared in these regions. Joining me now is Mayor Bernadette Clément. Welcome, Madam Mayor. Hello, thank you for having me. All right, so first of all, uh, before we get into the details of the state of emergency, uh, you were very uh, clear yesterday on reasons why this was announced as a region and together. So why don't you tell me why uh, about this collaboration? So um, as, as I said, I, I've been in touch with uh, local elected officials um, over the last many days. So that includes, you know, Grand Chief Abram Benedict. It includes, you know, the mayor of Messina, New York, but especially um, the elected officials from SDG Prescott Russell. So this week, uh, in speaking to Warden Frank Prevost and Warden Pierre Leroux, um, we came to the agreement together um, that a declaration of emergency from a regional perspective would be most efficient, uh, would send a strong unified message uh, to the residents of our collective counties that we are working on this together. Absolutely. Now, uh, there were questions about whether the state of emergency was symbolic or uh, whether there was some teeth to it. So why don't you tell me ab about that? Well, I mean, there's there's a couple of parts to the message, right? So a declaration of emergency does allow a municipality more flexibility in terms of directing resources to respond to situations that may come up as a result of the COVID-19 emergency. So that means that we passed our budget in, in February. Our budget did not contemplate this situation. So a state of emergency from a municipal perspective will give us added flexibility to direct resources. So like I can give an example, we're, we're directing employees, extra employees to go to uh, Glen Stordon Lodge, right? To make sure that we have enough healthcare support there. Well, that means that we're doing things differently than was contemplated by our budget. Um, a state of emergency allows us that flexibility. There may be opportunities for us to have to increase signage, for instance. That'll require funds um, that are not currently in our budget. So there is a um, practical reason for the state of emergency. But I think even more importantly, we want to heighten the level of awareness around the importance of staying home. And so by declaring a state of emergency, we're signaling to residents, not just in Cornwall, but in SDG Prescott Russell, that we need to flatten the curve now. Uh, we didn't want to wait another weekend to declare this state of emergency. We wanted to do it now so that people were behaving appropriately to flatten that curve and slow the spread of this virus. And on that note, Madam Mayor, uh, we know that uh, obviously there was a lot of consternation earlier in the week about travelers that were coming back and not uh, self-isolating. The federal government has now made that mandatory, uh, but you just alluded to the message of uh, for everybody that uh, about staying home. Uh, we're hearing reports, you know, of uh, not to single out one demographic, but we're hearing reports of teenagers uh, still congregating. Uh, but really, the, let's elaborate a little bit more on that message to everyone of what they need to do during this time of crisis. Right. So two things. For the travelers coming in, it has now become mandatory for them to go straight home, not to the grocery store, not to visit friends or family, straight home for a period of 14 days. Mandatory means that it is legally enforceable. So we're now starting to talk about what that might look like. Um, but for the rest of us, all of us should be staying home. All of us should be reducing all um, all trips outside of our home, unless it's to do, you know, groceries, unless it's to help a neighbor to a vulnerable neighbor, for instance, to do groceries, um, unless we're part of an essential uh, workplace. Uh, those are the only reasons that we should be going out. Now, some people were saying, can we go out for a walk? Yes, you can go out for a walk. But physical distancing means that when you're walking, you have to keep one to two meters away. Um, from people who may be around you. Um, as for the teenagers, yeah, I, I was driving around the other day, just taking a look at what our community looks like now, just getting a sense of the lay of the land, staying in my car, uh, only speaking to my neighbors from my car window and outside. <laughs> and I noticed some teens, you know, sitting at a picnic table, um, looking over their phones together. Um, and that is not, we don't want that. We don't want to put people at risk. And that means that individually, we have to recognize that our actions will have an impact 
on every person um, that lives in the home with us or that we come in contact with. So it really is a call to action, this declaration of emergency. On that note, Madam Mayor, I'll thank you once again for joining me for this uh, update and uh, we'll see where the situation goes from here. But the message is clear, stay home, stay safe, but stay connected and help out your neighbours. Exactly. Thank you, your TV.